Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Admas character of our world around us and this time I would like to, uh, in connection with the previous videos about the protests and about the complainers about the protests uh, and the fact that we should join them and look for the agents and traitors among us of course not, obs no, not being obsessive and paranoid, paranoid but being logic and systematic this approach will always allow us to eliminate a majority, vast majority of informers in between us. And the most important message I would like to convey to you in this video is fact that we should avoid when something happens and when time for struggle for our rights and freedoms comes. We should put a lot of effort, the largest effort, into avoiding extremes because not the extremes that are given to us by the uh, mainstream media that fascists or whatever and they even don't understand and don't know what fa what fascism was for these leftist people fascism is everything they do not agree with but mm, i'm not talking about such in quotation extremes that are described by the uh, main, uh, mainstream media to discredit their opponents or to simply portray them in the worst light possible but i mean we should uh, first of all to avoid uh, extremes in our actions have always our emotions under control i know that it's very easy to say that but we need to i know that uh, when something really happens, especially when something what happens uh, touches uh, the issues we are really related to, we care about very much and so on, it's really hard to keep our emotions under control, but this is the only way uh, which will allow us uh, avoiding troubles and avoiding extremes. Extreme I understand as an action that we take being driven by emotions, not by our rational approach. If we are driven by emotions, we tend to make bad decisions and we tend to make mistakes that are later very costly and very, very often completely not possible to be repaired. The damage this mistake uh, we made causes are very often completely not possible to be repaired. That's why extreme uh, behaviors I understand not in political terms of these times or previous time times, but uh, extreme behavior it's always the behavior uh, we, a person has when uh, this person is driven by emotions. So we need to see also from the future that all extreme movements, all extreme actions, like very common different terrorist actions, have their roots in the emotional approach to the reality. Yeah, one can say that very often it can be justified because this community or that was suppressed or was having troubles serious troubles and so on and so on and so on but uh, it i would say like this such approach emotionally driven and later these extreme actions taken because of these emotions can be understood yes because sometimes situations are really horrible it can be understood but it cannot be excused and it and it cannot be uh, justified I can understand, but I cannot excuse it, such actions based on emotions, and I cannot justify them. So uh, we should behave as a rational people, controlling our emotions, referring to the facts, and always uh, trying to follow the best interest of ourselves as individuals, and at the same time the best interest of our group we present. To have such a balance and to have such wise uh, actions we can take 
one needs to uh, have the emotions under control, the best hidden, and one needs to always use the brain as much as possible and rational approach to the problems one encounters, especially in difficult times like today. All the best, have a nice day, bye.